Kansas City is fortunate to be a community of people who care and give back. Each Thursday on NBC Action News at 6, we'll bring you a conversation with a member of our community who's making a difference. Tonight, Mark Clegg sits down with Barnett Hellsberg, Jr. Mention the name Hellsberg, and for many, it's synonymous with elegance and beauty. Mention the name Barnett Hellsberg Jr., and quite a few titles come to mind. Barnett Hellsberg has worn many hats since he followed his father and grandfather into the jewelry business. I had worked since I was about 15, a very timid kid, actually. And, of course, I told my dad what I didn't want to do was sell. And, of course, you know the first job I got. Over the next three decades, he would guide the company through major growth. By the mid-90s, Hellsberg Diamonds had grown to become the third largest jewelry retailer in the nation. Then a chance meeting with the man known as the Oracle of Omaha would change everything. May of 1994, you're walking down a street in New York City by the Plaza Hotel, and a woman hollers out, Warren Buffett. So I walked up, and introduced myself and I told him we had a company that fit his criteria which are listed in the annual report every year and he said well it'll be confidential send me the information Within the year, Hellsberg Diamonds was sold, and Mr. Hellsberg launched his next venture, inspired by his 23-year mentoring relationship with Ewing Kaufman. When he says four, he's saying this. He formed the Hellsberg Entrepreneurial Mentoring Program, matching successful business veterans with up-and-coming entrepreneurs. Fifteen years later, the hemp credential is often part of small business success stories. To be really honest, I've gotten so arrogant whenever I see these lists, I'm offended if somebody isn't on there from it, and there almost always is. Hellsberg is proud of Kansas City. With his family name gracing many buildings and projects, he says it all comes back to love and a passion for making the world a little better. What do you want to be remembered for? I don't need to be remembered. I had a camp director who said, uh, leave your campsite better than you found it. I hope I left my campsite better than I found it. Mark Clegg, NBC Action News.